Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is Marissa Indigo with a brand new video. I'm so excited about today's topic because I think it's a super important topic for us as spiritual beings having the human experience. Many of us are awakening to this truth right now and we have officially entered the great age of awakening as of 2020. You know, the original seed point for this transitional period that we're experiencing right now was actually 2012. But as we know, it takes a while for things in the ethereal to come down into the physical realms. So today's topic is all about emotional resiliency in the age of awakening. And what we're going to talk about today is one of the most challenging aspects of the human experience, which is learning to manage our emotions. How do we feel comfortable with them? How do we witness them? How do we define them? And how do we process them and release and dissolve? So I'm really excited to share this topic with you today, and let's go ahead and dive right in. So with this subject of emotions, as part of the human experience, the first thing that comes to mind for me is the fact in my own personal experience that the aspects of our existence that we find the most challenging hold the greatest reward, the greatest growth, and the things that we come into the world, you know, finding to be obstacles and painful, challenging, you know, seemingly Im impossible to overcome, once we come onto the other side of that actually end up being our greatest gifts. So that's, in my experience, how I have come to feel about emotions. So let's start to dive into this as a topic. Um, think about emotions. E is energy and motion. Emotions are energy in motion. So if you could just start to look at yourself as an energetic instrument, which we all are as divine humans here, energy comes through us in many ways and one of those would be emotions or thoughts thought precedes emotion so one of the things i like to start off with when we're learning about how to embrace our superpower as humans because our emotions truly are a superpower you've got to start to look at all of these aspects of your beingness for the divine sacred instruments that they are we are the ultimate instrument of sensitivity. And I would say, you know, definitely the first 30 years of my life, um, that sensitivity was very difficult to manage. You know, when we grow up in school, uh, the traditional schooling, we're not taught, oh, you know, your emotions and your sensitivities and your ESP and your HSP and your empathy, you know, that's all great. That's part of who you are. No, we're taught the opposite. You know, the system, the matrix that is crumbling right now before our very eyes actually wanted us to all be in boxes and be uniform, which we don't fit in. Stars don't fit in boxes. So I would just like to start with that concept of starting to embrace your sensitivity and start to understand that we have this beautiful physical vessel here and many, many layers of etheric bodies beyond that going out into the infinite, actually, that are sensing and picking up information. So that's the first point. The second point I want to make about this is to start to think of your emotions as information. That's really important. And also to start feeling, where do I feel that in the body? Where do I feel that sensation? If you have a feeling of elation, excitement, you know, do you have a tickling in your chest? Do you know, have the positive butterflies, you know, in your stomach? If you have a feeling of dread or some kind of a warning, do you feel a heaviness in your stomach or a pit? Or maybe it's somewhere else in your body. You know, a lot of us have different areas that are linked to our empathic knowingness. Another thing I just want to mention on the side here is the, the idea of certain people being empaths or, you know, I see all these videos, are you an empath? And that kind of bothers me because in my understanding of humanity and our potential, we're all empaths. Just some of us numb out. Uh, we all have different ways of, you know, realizing information and receiving information. We all have different gifts. There's a different clairs, your clair audience, clair cognizance, clair sentience, clairvoyance, all these different things, you know, precognitive dreams. And because of the systems that we came into, again, we overlooked all of these innate aspects of our beingness. So when it comes to the whole empath thing, we're all empaths. We're all star seeds and we're all beautiful avatars here just trying to remember, just trying to awaken, trying to remember. So I just wanted to interject that because I'm really passionate about that. Um, there's no separation here or competition or you know someone has more than the other. That's all bullshit. That's all old paradigm. So I have to put that out there. The next thing that I wanted to talk about was, you know, feeling emotion. When we start to 
uh, be, become aware that we have feelings, depending on how old we were when we started to become aware of this, it could be really overwhelming because our emotions are strong and we don't know how to manage them. So I like to use myself as an example, as always, um, you know, in order to survive in my childhood, because it was such a chaotic atmosphere and very traumatic, I really shut down my emotions. And honestly, that's how I survived. What ended up happening from that is that those energies got locked in my tissues and I did have quite a bit of you know, really um, rare autoimmune disorders, kidney disorders, like all kinds of different things really young that were part of my path, part of my awakening process of remembering really, really young. So that energy was stored within me and created autoimmune disorders. So if any of you might relate to that, you can look at different aspects of or parts of your body and use like Louise Hay has the Heal Your Body, Heal Your Life book. You can start to actually see metaphysical um, correlations between where in the body you have an illness or a malady or a disease and the corresponding thought forms and emotions where it crystallized and lodged into that part of you. So just to share that as well. But in that, you know, stuffing my emotions my entire childhood in order to survive, to make it, by the time I was turning, you know, 12 and 13, with the shifts to, you know, uh, pre-adolescence and adolescence, I mean, just so many hormones and the emotions be, were really out of control and really hard to handle. And that's actually, you know, 13 was when I first started using drugs. So I just want to give a shout out to anybody out there who is struggling with their life and with their identity and with their feelings and their thoughts and, you know, not really knowing who's, what's really me, what's true, like that doesn't feel like me. And you know, if you're struggling with substance abuse or any kind of addictive tendencies, I've been there too, you know, substances, food, shopping, all of that. It's all part of the ascension. It's all part of the awakening of consciousness. You have to understand, you know, all these aspects of, of life that we go through, they're just phases as we come into a greater expansion and self-knowing. So I never want you to feel bad for trying to, you know, heal yourself or trying to find balance. That's the whole point is we try things, we realize, oh, you know, using substances doesn't make me feel very good or, you know, it, it leads to imbalance. It's not my highest path. It's not my highest calling. What's the next level? And we keep up leveling as we gain more awareness. So I wanted to interject that too into the emotions component, because again, no one coached us as little children to teach us. These are your superpowers. Embrace them and don't over identify with them, which leads me to my next point. I think we're on maybe point number four. Um, you are not your emotions or your thoughts. You are the being observing them. So I encourage you, I invite you from the deepest wells of my heart to start to just establish an awareness of the patterns of thoughts and emotions that you feel and start to expand your identity, not with those emotions and those feelings um, and those thought forms and, and thoughts, because these are just energy streams trying to come up. Maybe they're really old and we just suppress them because they're so uncomfortable, right? Of course, you know, they're trying to come up just to be seen and held, loved, and thus the dissolution of them. Their power over you ends. So this identifying, you know, with the emotions, this is where I think a lot of us really start to, you know, get confused and lost and, and completely depressed or just unhappy with the state of our lives because on some level we know like that doesn't really feel like who I am, but I am feeling that. So when you start to differentiate your own identity as a soul, as an infinite being, remember we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Part of that human experience is emotion. So I hope that this starts to give you some great stuff to think about, some content to start to meditate upon. If you need more resources to go deeper on this, please leave comments, uh, ask questions in the comments below. Um, I'm gonna go more deeply into each emotion individually after this video, but I wanted to start with just this concept of emotional resiliency because this is part of our self mastery on the path. We have to learn to master our emotions because they are our frequency, they are emanations, fluctuations that flow through us. And if we get stuck on one and claim it and give our power away to it, we stagnate and we don't feel very good. And that's not our truth, it's not our highest truth. So on the path of awakening here and self mastery, emotions are key. And in, you know, in tandem with that or in conjunction with that is also mastering our mind and our thoughts. And we do that with different meditative practices and other things we'll go into in another video. But I just wanted to start to give you something that is quite a vast concept to start to work through is the notion that, oh my gosh, I'm not my thoughts and I'm not my emotions. How liberating is that? So you are the being, again, behind, calm, peaceful, all-knowingness, 
start to identify with that being. Who is that? So then you can start to think, oh my gosh, if I'm not all these things that I thought I was, who am I really? And when you start to ask these questions and delve deep within, all the answers are within. So I hope that is a really good lead in to the content to come. I've been developing a lot of content over the last few months and I'm so excited to share all of it with you because we're all in this together. This is an incredible time for humanity to start to access our divinity. And we have to start on the most mundane levels. So that would be the health of our physical body and our mind and our emotions. That's just level one. That's just the start of this as we keep accelerating on the path. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. And we're gonna be talking about uh, mastering anger for the next video. So you guys take care. And again, always reach out, leave comments below and I love you so much, namaste.